Thanks to our sponsors. Goods and services used in the production of Hanging Out with D were brought to you by Hi guys, I'm Dee Harris. Welcome to another episode of Hanging Out with Dee. And today we're gonna hang out with a really cool person, Doran Benami. Welcome. My pleasure. Great to have you. Nice. Doran is a master illustrator and musician, and his wife calls him a Renaissance man because he can do everything as far as she's concerned. I love that. <laughs> you love that. So tell us about, uh, before we go into, you know, master illustration and all of that. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you were born, all of that good stuff. Sure. Um, I was born in the land of Israel. Cool. Um, uh, but lived there for a very short time, moved yeah. here to the States with my parents when I was three, oh. and grew up here uh, in, uh, in the United States, in the Northeast mostly, yeah. New York area mostly. Yeah. And you said you describe yourself as being a sabra. What does sabra mean? Uh, a sabra is is a common term for uh, anyone born in Israel. Uh, oh. it, it's literally uh, the fruit of the cactus. Oh. And it is hard and prickly on the outside and soft and sweet on the inside, Very nice. like Israelis. Oh, that's so cool. Shout out to all the Israelis. I'm sure a few of them will be watching. That's. Amazing. So what got you interested in illustration? This was a tendency uh, that started very early in my life, uh, just a drive to draw. Really? I just loved to draw. I loved comic books. Mm. Uh, and I saw the comic books. I drew superheroes. Oh, wow. um, I drew faces. Uh, after a while, I started to discover that I could look at people and draw, try to depict people and faces. Mm. Um, my mother was very encouraging. Yeah. Uh, sent me to uh, classes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, eventually, I took a, uh, a fine arts program in uh, Brooklyn College. I majored in painting, you know, fine Wonderful. arts, sculpture, painting, all of yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, somewhere in there, I guess I was ten or twelve. I heard about something called illustration. Yeah. Which. The minute I heard of it, it answered a question in my mind hmm. called, how am I going to do this thing that I love to do yes. for a living? Yes. Uh, so once I discovered that, uh, I knew that that's what you I was found, trying to do. You found yeah. your purpose in that way. So hmm. define illustration for us. Oh, illustration. Illustration is telling stories through pictures, hmm. uh, and that can even apply to photography. Much of photography is illustrative. Correct. Uh, and uh, Correct. there are even categories called photo illustration. Mm -hmm. um, but that's in its broadest sense, mm -hmm. what illustration is. Yeah. I've seen your work, and your work is absolutely fantastic. Thank Can't you. wait for our viewers to see, to see your work. Thanks. Amazing. So then, from, from you were a young person, you found that you had this natural gifting. Very often my viewers ask, you know, how do I know my purpose? How do I know what I'm good at? How do I know what I'm called to do? Yes. But you were saying that was something that you felt from you were really young. Correct. Yeah, yeah. That came early, mm -hmm. naturally, and it was what I consider a drive or yeah. what I like to call, people call it a gift. Yeah. And that might be so. I call it a tendency. Wow. What, what do you mean? I like that. A tendency. I, t I just, I, you know, how do we explain why a child gravitates towards mm. something? We don't really know. Mm -hmm. Why does a child pick up an instrument and say, wow, this is what I want to do? Mm. Uh, the best word I have for that is a tendency. I, I had that. a tendency. I was drawing all the yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. So you talked about your dad and that he was 
into this whole advertising illustration world. Tell us about that. Yes, my dad, who I did not live with, uh, I was raised by my mother. Okay. Uh, uh, but my dad uh, uh, was sent out. My dad was a graphic designer, also artistic tendencies. Yeah. Um, uh, he was a graphic designer who was employed by Harker Brace. At the time, it was called Harker Brace and World, a publishing company. Yeah. Now it's Harker Brace Jovanovich, I believe, or just Harker Brace. He was sent out to California to start their audiovisual department, wow. which he did very successfully. Mm. Um, created a whole program of educational film strips, audiovisual. Mm. Um, was an innovator in this regard, in 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 uh, um, visual, uh, an education through visual aids won many awards wow. uh, and became the president of that of the, of Harker Brace out there of Harker Brace Audiovisual. Amazing. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah, quite accomplished. So some of it could have been genetic. That's <laughs> who knows. Who knows? That's <laughs> yes, possible. Right? Because you didn't live with him and yet you you had these tendencies Apparently. as well. Apparently. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. is really cool. Really 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 cool. So who would you describe as like your biggest mentor as a child? Would that be your mom or were there were there other people? Um, I lived for Marvel Comics. Oh my goodness. So my, they weren't my mentors because they didn't mentor me personally. Yeah, but they uh, But my idols were Jack Kirby, <laughs> who drew the Fantastic Four and originally the Hulk and yes, a few other characters. Yes. And Steve Ditko, oh who goodness. was the original uh, artist, or almost original artist for Spider-Man. Wow. And from them, I learned human anatomy because all of these superheroes wore skin-tight costumes mm -hmm. with muscle exaggerated mm -hmm. musculature. Mm -hmm. I learned everything I needed to know from those from copying and copying, making up my own characters, but mostly copying. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of mentors yeah. uh, back then. There were none other than my mother who was encouraging me to keep yes, drawing. Yes, yes, but that's mentorship and, and many of us are mentored through books as well and people who we haven't met. There you, you go. Know? Yes, so, yeah. that was the case for me. And yeah. of course, uh, my mother was buying me books of art history, so Michelangelo just captivated oh. me. And um, Caravaggio and uh, Vermeer, mm. uh, these were the people who uh, just captured my attention. Yeah. Later when I discovered illustration, then I discovered Norman Rockwell, Maxfield Parrish, mm. uh, N.C. Wyeth. Unbelievable. Yeah. So your mom played a really big role in encouraging you into the path that you were tending towards. She did. I like your word, the she word did. tendency. Yeah, yeah. And and then these people who you've never met, like for me, like Dr. Wayne Dyer, yes. a lot of these guys, Tony Robbins. Right. You know, these guys are people who influ who I would say are mentors for me as well, even though we haven't met. Yes. So I get that. Yeah, That's yeah. That's pretty cool. Great. All right, so tell me about your immediate family, the amazing Hillary. Oh, Hillary. Oh, Hillary. <laughs> Hillary was a guest here before. I love, I met you through Hillary. Yes. Love Hillary. Yeah. How did you meet? Hillary and I uh, met at a wedding. Uh, yes. Uh, we were, by chance, seated next to each other. Yes. Um, I was very, uh, uh, she was sitting here to my left. <laughs> I was very busy flirting with a girl to my right. <laughs> and um, that was a lot of fun, but fizzled out after a while, and I turned over this way. And, and you were said, like, ah. I said, so what's your story? <laughs> we talked very briefly and yes. uh, eventually got up to dance, yes. which we did, and suddenly there was a slow dance, yes. which we did, and that slow dance Wow, she that and was. I, she and I would both agree was the moment. Oh, how beautiful is that? It was something. Mm, People mm. who saw us on the dance floor commented later and for years afterwards yeah. how they knew that something that was. That you were meant to be after Yeah, that. yeah, something was going on there. Oh, beautiful. Guess what, guys? It's time for Dee's live questions. <laughs> Right, Doran, we're having fun. So there's this. We were when we were chatting, you were talking about how you and Hillary share the important things. 
That's a really powerful statement, especially for people who are married or, or who are couples. What does that mean? That's a good question, always challenging to answer. The important things for us are what I would call a grounding hmm. in ha. The first word that's available is spiritual, hmm. uh, a spiritual grounding. Yes. But I don't like the word spiritual. Okay. It's too woo. fluffy. Yes, I know what you mean. Um, yeah. We pursue. Um, we pursue th the uh, creation of our realities. Yeah. In a in a in a. Uh, okay, here we go. <laughs> we pursue the creation of our realities as individuals yeah. and as a couple, mm -hmm. um, in a way that matches principles. What principles? Principles yeah. that we create. Correct. Principle, you know, love, mm -hmm. forgiveness, mm -hmm. um, uh, understanding, yeah. generosity. Mm -hmm. uh, these are lovely, lofty uh, principles that all of us uh, aspire to. Yeah. Um, but I'm just going to say that Hillary and I take those things seriously. Correct. You make it practical. You we, make spirituality not fluffy and weird, but you make it a reality. You make it tangible. It has to be present Correct. in moment Correct. by moment everyday Correct. reality. How you treat people. Uh, there you go. How you live your life. And I like, I like what you said about how you pursue your lives differently and as a couple, because I see that. She's pursuing her career, her goals. Right. You're pursuing your thing, but yet as a couple, you pursue things together, and it's so powerful. Yes, and part of that for both of us is to support the other's yes. aspirations. Yes. Completely, yes. without reservation. Yes, that's beautiful. All right, what inspires you, Doran Benemy? Oh. <laughs> um, uh, certainly, my love for for Hillary, for my for my children. Yes. That is first and foremost. Yes. Um, uh, what runs through my life as an ongoing inspiration is music. Mm. Music inspires me. Yes. It's such an important part of my life. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Music is a big deal. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, I'm listening to it all day long as I'm working. Me too. Um, I play music. Um, it's, uh, it, it, it's so much like the uh, visual work that I do in its essential components. Of, of creative work, of your yeah, creative Yeah, creative, work. and things about art, and things about music that match. There's rhythm, there's timing, there's composition, there's dark yeah, and light. Yeah, I get that, I all get that. that. Yeah. Beautiful. All right, guys, it's time for I Don't Like That Mon. <laughs> All right, Doran, ben me. what gets on your last eeny weeny tiny nerve? This is my favorite pee. <laughs> I'm us. driving. Yes. I want to switch lanes. Yes. I see there's plenty of room behind me on the switch lane that I'm yes. switching to. Yes. I begin to move into that lane, and that car who's 200 feet ahead starts speeds to speed up. up. Oh, my gosh. What is that? I know. It's a disease. It is a disease. I've it's, experienced that myself. I'm everyone like, what does is, it. What is that? I don't think people even know that they're doing it. I think it's just automatic at this point. I, I don't understand it. Because I, I, I understand, it. I almost had an accident um, like a month ago. Big open gap. Yes. I put on my indicator. I see that there's open space. And as I move into the space, I hear a honking of the horn. I'm like, what is that, man? <laughs> We don't like that mod. We don't like no. that mod. <laughs> I was like, what is your problem? <laughs> really weird. So what's your, do you have another pet peeve? Um, yes. <laughs> and this many is, of my guests have many. <laughs> g g given what we're doing, this is a funny pet peeve, <laughs> but I don't like complaining. You don't like complaining? I don't like people complaining. Okay. I don't like to hear myself complain, <laughs> even though that's exactly what I'm doing <laughs> right, right now. now. <laughs> but that's my, that's one of my favorite pet peeves. <laughs> Complaining. We don't Complaining. like that mom. No, we don't like that Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. It's time for Say What? <laughs> All 
Okay, guys, so now you know this is the part of the show when people who are masters at what they do get to teach us a little bit of something. They get to be lecturers for eight minutes. Cool. <laughs> so um, let's go for it. Let's go for the first graphic. Who is an illustrator? We talked about that before, but you, you went a little in depth um, at our meeting about illustration having to do with pencils or drawing things. What is, who is an illustrator? Um, well, a, a, in the most basic, basic sense, an illustrator is someone who loves to create images, like, yeah. any, pa pa like any painter or photographer, yes. um, who can also uh, work with a client. Mm. And that entails listening, yes. uh, understanding the needs of someone else, mm -hmm. uh, having an eagerness to meet those needs and serve those needs, mm -hmm. and do it on a deadline. Fantastic. How did, how did technology change for you when things went digital? How did that impact your work? Oh, greatly. Yeah. Um, uh, I was using, uh, uh, b b by, by, by 1995, I had graduated up to mastery of airbrush. Yes. Um, it's a difficult tool to use, and I'd gotten very good at it. Uh, but uh, I, I have to credit my mother again. Okay. Uh, she called me one day and said, what's this thing about computer illustration, digital hmm. illustration? I said, I don't know, Mom. I, I've read a little bit about it. I'll check it out. And, uh, and I looked into it, and uh, in a very short time, I bought my first Mac computer, wow. along with a, uh, what's called a digital tablet yes. that connects to the computer. Yes, that and you whatever can. You, and whatever you do on the tablet comes, uh, on the comes up there. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh, uh, that... Revolutionized it. Revolutionized it, and, and specifically, it freed me creatively. Wow. I was so much less afraid to make mistakes. Because you could, could... I could experiment. Amazing, beautiful. Yeah. All right, next graphic. Naturally, why is natural ability important as a master illustrator? Why is natural ability important? Um, there's no point in it <laughs> otherwise. <laughs> because, I mean, just, it just if is. If you're not good at it, don't the, stop. Yeah, yeah, why bother? Yeah, stop. Find, stop. The, find the thing you find, want to do. <laughs> find your truth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the best thing. Yes. <laughs> I know what you mean. All right, so we have three pieces, a, a little taste of your large volume of work. So let's take a look at those and, and you'll walk us through it. Sure. All right. This one is a, the famous nationwide commercial, which we're all familiar with. Yes, uh, this is a storyboard. I do a lot of these over the last eight to 10 years. Um, uh, I, I, I'm given a script for a proposed t TV commercial. Hmm. and uh, asked to flesh it out in a detailed, realistic way in a storyboard. So let me get this straight. All they give you is words. Sometimes it's like they, a script, and uh, then you... Often, just words. Sometimes they give me little napkin sketches uh, hmm. as well, just to f basically tell me what they want. Wow. Um, then and then I'll, through that, you flesh it out. That's right. All that, right, next picture. Right. Was this beautiful? You hand-drew this? You did this. Uh, well, that was done digitally. Yeah. Um, but but uh, you know through the tablet and, yeah. and so so yes and no. Um, uh, that's for a storybook, a picture, a children's picture book that I just finished. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a, um, a book called, called. Can I say the title? Yes. Uh, a book called Grandma Darling, uh, by a woman named Lissa Schroeder. It was beautiful. Uh, yeah. Thank beautiful. you. Beautiful. They you. almost look lifelike. Next one. What's this one for? Yes, from the same book. Yeah. Uh, oh, did I have fun on that job? I love it, and I love the grandma in the background. Thank you, thank you. I, you know, I, my eyes are drawn to her and to the beautiful the girl in the middle, her expression. Thank Very you. Nice. Yeah, I used local kids as models. Yeah. Uh, for them, that was delightful. Beautiful. So do so when you say you do that, you take a picture that's of right. them and then you sketch over it. Th that's correct. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 I take the photos, import them into Photoshop, which is my, uh, people think of Photoshop as a, a photo, photo, editing. photo editing or photo manipulation tool, but it is great for painting and drawing. It's got brushes and, mm -hmm. oh, it's, 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 it's my tool. Yeah, beautiful, yeah. beautiful work. All right, next graphic. You should have a passion for communication if you want to be a master illustrator. Yes, communication, uh, a, a picture 
Uh, we, it, it, we all know a picture communicates. A picture yes. is worth a thousand words, yes. uh, but there's something to uh, having a picture communicate immediately, yes. quickly, yes. understanding what parts to emphasize yes. and de-emphasize. It's got to say what it needs to say right away. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And as a photographer, I absolutely get what you That's mean. That's right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We call them picture stories. I'm looking at it, and I get what you're saying right away. Yeah, instantly. Right. Instantly. Right. Yes, fantastic. All right, next graphic. Understanding design, color, shape, composition. Yes. Uh, my gosh, I could talk about this for an hour, but I, <laughs> but, but I won't. Um, all of those elements, in order for, in, at the same time that the illustration is communicating the idea or the story, it also has to be a great painting. Hmm. If you look at a Vermeer or a Michelangelo, they are composed. The light is in the right place yes. to attract your eye just a certain way. Yes. Uh, there's so much that goes into that. Mm -hmm. uh, all of that applies to a good illustration. Mm -hmm. At least a good realistic illustration, what's called a representational illustration, and that's yeah. the kind that I do. Yes. As opposed to whimsical or cartoonish. Correct. There, there are many styles. Correct. How many years have you been illustrating? Illustrating professionally uh, uh, since 79. Wow. So how many, is it 30 something years. Unbelievable. Yeah. Next graphic. You gotta love it, Ma. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> because there are times, uh, for myself, there are times when I'm doing it for weeks straight, uh, 12, 16, 18 hours a day, because I've taken on a lot of work and I'm meeting mm -hmm. deadlines. Yes. So it better be something I like. That you love. Yeah. Yeah. That's powerful, and, and isn't that true of everything that we do in life? I think so. If we don't love it, there's no excellence. There's not, that creative energy doesn't come out. Yeah, that too. Yeah, right? yeah, it's right. good stuff. Next graphic. Customer and client service. Yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite aspects of the job. Yeah. Connecting with the client, listening, uh, and uh, wanting to understand their needs as well, or actually better, wanting to understand their needs better than they do themselves. Mm, powerful. Powerful. Why is that important? Uh, well, it's important in order to be good as an illustrator to give them a good job. Yes. But it's also important because it's pleasurable. It is. You, you, by, by, by looking at so, someone else and what they're about, yes. you're forgetting about yourself. Correct. That's pleasurable. It is. That's interesting. It is. I'm sick of, my, of me. <laughs> you're sick of your... <laughs> I've got the same old thoughts. It's all day, yes. I know what you mean. Totally get it. And then the magic that happens oh, yeah. when you are able to interpret for them what they don't even know they want. For yeah, themselves. and they're it's appreciating like, it. And yes. They're feeling that, and yes. they're starting to like it. Yes. And yes. so now there's it's something magic. great. Magic. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Now we're going to see a beautiful video with Doran and his daughter, Juliet.
that's what our love can do. And in this crazy life, and through these crazy times, it's you, it's you. You make me sing your every line, your every word, your everything. How beautiful is that, Doran? Oh my goodness, I see it. Oh my God. I, see I love my little girl. It. I know, I know, and we can feel that. We can absolutely feel that. And that is my dream. My kids are seven and eight right now, that one day, you know, we'll be able to share moments like that when they're in their 20s. Yeah. Really beautiful. All right, guys, I have a funny, really funny video with Mishka the dog. Check it out. Mishka, I love you. I love you. I love you. Mishka. Good girl. I love you. Uh, good girl. I love you. I love you. Good girl! Good girl. I love you. <laughs> oh my god! Mishka is killing me. Oh my god. What an absolutely funny dog. <coughs> Doran Benami, thank you so much for oh, sharing with me today. It was beautiful, 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 beautiful. Thank you. We learned so much about illustration. At the end of the day, it's something, <coughs> it's a gifting that comes from within. And whatever you're, you're good at, guys, you know, go for it. You know where to find us on Facebook, hanging out with Dee. See you next time and be kind to someone. Bye.